Thank you for calling Menlo Park Apartments. This is Diana speaking. How may I help you? Oh, hello. Um, I, I'm a tenant here, and we're having kind of a problem with our toilet. Okay. What apartment number? Uh, it's 17. 17. What's wrong with the toilet? And, yeah, it's it's been getting worse and worse. And we've What's been flushing. Oh, it's just, it's taking forever to flush, and it's like it's stopped up. We've been dumping a lot of sand in there from our floors. Like, probably um, three bags worth, at least by now, 50-pound bags of sand. Cause we bought of too- sand down the toilet? Yeah, because we bought too much sand, you know, for the floors. So I think it's just the sand is kind of backing up inside the toilet. Which, yeah, but you shouldn't be dumping sand down the toilet. Oh, yeah, we'll clog up the sewer system. Are you? Did you sure you called Menlo Park Apartments? Oh yeah, yeah, we live here at Menlo Park. But I mean, we we bought too much sand for the floors. We bought like forty bags of sand, so we just need to get rid of a few of the bags because we we already had put it down and threw thrown the bags away. So we were just kind of dumping the sand in the toilet because it, it was no. it was um, it was I think it was like six inches deep in the hallway. And it was just too much, you know, so we needed to scoop some of it out. I don't think you have the right community, to be quite frank with you. <sighs> Why do you think that? What, what, you live in apartment 17 mm-hmm. at Menlo Park Apartments on 122nd Avenue. Right. Wow. And you put sand down the toilet. Yeah, just just a few bags. But, I mean, we're done. It doesn't matter. You don't put anything other than waste down the toilet. Okay. Well, I know that now. We won't do it. We just had to get rid of some you of the sand. You can make it charge for this as if we can't clear it. Okay. Well, are you guys still going to pay for the sand that we put down on our floors? What the, sand? The, we put down sand on our floors. So it would be kind of like a beach. There's like a few inches of sand throughout the living room and hallway and the bedrooms. Uh, but, I don't think you did that, did you, in the carpeting? Yeah. For like a beach thing, my girlfriend wanted to. We were trying to make it like, you know, like a beach atmosphere. Uh, no, no, that's never been approved of ever. Oh, because we were kind of under the pressure. Ever. You know, and pay for it, like you're going to reimburse us for the improvement. No, who told you that? I think my girlfriend talked to somebody there. Not putting sand on a carpet ever. Maybe they misunderstood. Well, it's to save the carpet, though, because we have cats. They were, no. Uh, they were like pooping on the carpet and the sand... You need to put them in a litter box if you have them. I know, but they they weren't using the litter box. So we put the sand down. Can I get your name? Uh, My name's uh, Jason Heckathorn. But now the cats can go wherever they want, you know, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't bother the carpet anymore. And we just kind of... What's your phone number, Jason? Um, 2377. Uh Uh-huh. So we can't even put garbage in the toilet because we've been dumping garbage in there because the dumpster's too far away. No, you don't put anything down the toilet other than wait, uh, people waste. Yeah, well, we rip it up into tiny pieces so it doesn't stop anything up. Uh, no. Well, it works. I mean, it's like cheap. No. You spend as much money on garbage bags and stuff. That's why we have dumpsters here. You do not dump things like that and down the sewer systems of the city. Okay, well, I didn't know. And we thought the sand would be okay, because it's just sand. It's not, like, toxic or anything. Okay, well, I need to get a hold of some people here. And you say your toilet's not working right. Right. Or are we going to have to get rid of the sand, you're saying? We're not allowed to put the sand down? Because I thought you guys were going to pay us for this. That's the only no, reason. We spent, I, we spent a few hundred dollars on sand. No, no. Nobody would ever approve of such a thing. Nobody would ever I do not know where you got your information, and you definitely don't have it in writing. So, no. So, But we can still keep the sand in here as long as we live here? No. Well, it's already here. I don't believe What's so. I don't it? believe so. I'm going to go get in touch with the manager here shortly. So I have to flush the rest of this sand. You flush that stuff down the toilet. Oh, listen, just hold on. Don't flush anything else down that toilet. Okay. Okay? All right. Thank you. Sure. Bye-bye. Are you going to come over now, or...? I'm sorry, what? Are you coming over now to look at our toilet problem? I'm going to get the manager. So I really need to use the bathroom. I am going to get the manager. Or am I? Are you putting me in? I am going to go get, no, I'm going to hang up and I'm going to look up a couple of things and then I am going to go get the manager. Okay. All right. All right. Have fun. Okay. Being a spaz. Bye-bye. Bye. And I don't flush sand down the goddamn toilet.
Thank you for that intro song, Zombie Cat. He just sent that to me earlier tonight, just in time for me to put it into a show. Zombie Cat's the person who did the intro that you heard on the last show, the one that was kind of a Western sounding song. I guess hearing that inspired him to make another one. So thanks, Zombie Cat. Hey, everyone, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. It's April 14th, 2019. And this one's brought to you by Arbitrary Alex, high school graduate, I Regret Jumping, Micro Corgi, and Teen Wolf Jesus. All five of those people got to hear the Members Only Hobo Show that I did on the 11th a few days ago. Thanks, everyone, for supporting the show. And if you're not supporting the show, please go to patreon.com slash phone losers and support the show. I would really appreciate it. Thanks to the new people who have signed up recently, like J Smooth, Old Man Loki, and Lane. Lane found me from the tribute I made to the Do You Know Who Jason Siegel Is podcast, which I found out from the Hang Up the Phone show when a caller told me about it. So it's all coming together, full circle. That thing I made that all those Jason Siegel podcast people hated finally paid off. Thanks, Lane, and everyone else that's signed up recently. Have I played my new Cheetah Dick Hold music yet? It's pretty amazing. Reggie sent it in to me. It goes something like this. Please wait. Your call is being transferred to the next available agent. Suck a polar bear's funky ass. Suck a racehorse's cup with heist tomato ketchup. Suck a duckie's shitty ass. Suck a male candle stick with hoisin sauce. Yep. Suck a cheetah's dick. Suck a cheetah's dick. Suck a cheetah's dick. Thank you for your patience. It's it's good hold music. Thanks for that, Reggie. I actually got a reaction from that one already. I'm pretty sure it was on a hobo sode. Maybe it was on the last Snowplow show, but I kind of think it was the hobo sode. And I think you have already heard the new version that Pepe sent me of the Pussy Good song, where it's much more trebly. All of our representatives are currently busy. But easier to hear over phone lines. So thanks again for that, Pepe. I may have mentioned that on the last show. I forget things. I just repeat myself a lot. A couple things before we get started. Number one, I'm going to put a link in the show notes to this uh, GoFundMe that Matt Hillock set up. He is moving out of his mom's house. Congratulations on that, Matt Hillock. But, oh no, he's out of beer money for the month. Please support his GoFundMe. It's in the show notes on snowplowshow.com. It's very important. I gave him five bucks, and some other PLA people have helped out too. Most of them much more generous than me, so thanks everybody for helping out Laugh Track Matt. And I can't wait to visit him in his new place. Maybe in September, if I'm around there for the Hobo Fest or whatever it's called, Hobo Con, you know, that name that's very offensive to hobos. And they're probably going to show up at our meetup and knife us all, throw cream corn at us, steal our nickels. It's going to suck. Somebody named Phones Are Hot in the Phone Losers Reddit, which is reddit.com slash r slash phone losers. Everybody should be posting over there. But Phones Are Hot asked if anyone had Dwight's old stuff. And I posted a link to what I had from mostly, two, I think all of it was 2014. And I messaged Dwight. I'm like, hey, Dwight, do you have any of your old stuff? This guy wants it. I'm talking about his shows, by the way. I don't know why I keep calling it stuff. And Dwight posted on Facebook about this. I was really surprised to hear that he doesn't have any of his old stuff. Dwight actually downloaded my 2014 archive that I posted and was going through it and listening to it. That's pretty fucked up. Dwight didn't keep his own shows. So I think it would be really cool if anybody out there has any old Dwight material from, I don't know, maybe earlier than 2017. I assume he has the more recent stuff. But any old Dwight shows, like the Blog Talk Radio show or the Mop Writing with Dwight show, he told me specifically that he doesn't have 2015. And he's not asking me to do this. I just think it's kind of cool to have an archive of all the stuff that I used to listen to. And I never kept many of the Dwight shows because I just never got around to it, I guess. So if you have any old Dwight episodes, let's do what we did with 
the XYZ archive and get those put up somewhere so I can have them. I can give them to Dwight. I can distribute them to other people or just give them directly to Dwight. I just think it's a bummer that those old Dwight shows aren't available anymore. Maybe he'll put them up on a feed or something because I remember some really good stuff happening a few years ago. Let's see, what else can I go on and on and on about without starting the show? I can't think of anything else. So I guess the show is going to start now. I did a live show earlier today and I did not post it on Twitter. In fact, I didn't even make it public except to a few of the higher tier Patreon people. And I'm sorry to do this. There's just certain types of live shows that I don't feel comfortable doing live anymore because certain listeners just love to call up the places that I call and be like, LOL, I know who's pranking you. Here's the link to the show. That happens all the time, or they track down the people and they post their personal information in the YouTube comments. That's why I have to edit everything so heavily these days. God damn it. Sorry, I didn't mean to rant, but I'm just trying to explain why I didn't make it such a public live show today. There was only, uh, I think, maybe nine people listening total. That's the main reason I don't do a lot of live shows these days. I just do them on my own so I can edit out all of the personal information before it goes out instead of after. I don't even have my paid Mixler account anymore. I let it lapse. The credit card expired. It's now a free account. I can't even do live shows on Mixler. And there's certain things I can still do as a live show, but other things are a bad idea to let all the information get out. Like today's show. Because I remember one time I did the Sunday mall walk thing and that chocolate store guy started saying a bunch of shitty things to me. And all these people were calling him up all the time and harassing him. And he doesn't need to be harassed. He gave me good material that day, being such a hilarious asshole. Anyway, my apologies for not making this a public live show and not including all of the patrons. I promise you, I feel like a jerk for it. But here is the live show that happened earlier today. It was originally three hours long. I didn't mean to go that long, but it happened. And I actually got it cut down to about an hour and 40 minutes by taking out all of the boring stuff and a few of the calls that sucked and didn't go anywhere. Here it is, today's live show. Also, I should find out where the Easter Bunny is. Oh yeah, and I gotta set my caller ID. I'm setting my number to the local area code with 420-6969. I'm going to call that right now just because I'm curious about what it is. Hey. It's Brad. Hi. Hey, what, what are you doing? Laying in bed. Oh, nice. What are you wearing? Uh, clothes? In bed? Yeah, bro. Yeah, I, I sleep in my tidy whities No clothes. That's all you? Yeah, no, no clothes for me in bed. That's crazy. Crazy talk. That's you, bro? Yeah, but you know, you, you're a fucking weirdo if you're sleeping in bed with clothes on. I'm not sleeping in bed. What Watching TV. Oh, what are you watching? I'm also eating, by the way. Oh, in bed? But, oh, that's disgusting. Um, why? Is it stuff with crumbs? Is it stuff with crumbs? Yeah, like do you get itchy at night because you have crumbs all over your bed? No. Oh. Okay. What are you eating? And what are you watching on TV? Chicken nuggets and fucking uh, Family Guy. Oh, nice. Sounds like a great day for you. I guess so. Did you get the number 420-6969 on purpose? Yeah, I did. That's a that's awesome. I just want to apologize in, in advance, okay? Why? Just just keep a sense of humor about the whole thing, okay? That's all the you have. The whole thing of what? Uh, just, 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 uh, just I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I'm just sorry. I gave your number to somebody, okay. and, and they might be calling you, and I'm sorry. It, I, it was, there was no ill intentions. I don't know you or anything. I just, I gave your number. To someone else. I don't care. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Just have fun with it. Okay. And maybe I'll call you later and ask you how it went. But I really am sorry. Okay. 
I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I called you weird for sleeping, for for being in bed with clothes on. Even sure. though, even though it's weird. <laughs> not weird. Well, yeah, I guess if you're not, not sleeping. you made it sound like you were sleeping. No, it's in the middle of daytime, bro. That's it. Well, I don't know. I don't know you. I don't know your schedule. But. Anyway, uh, I'm I'm really sorry. From the bottom of my heart, I'm sorry. Hi. All right, hang up the phone. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I think I just called Polly Shore. That's going to be the most friendly final boss ever. Help you. Hey, Stephanie. See, I blocked that out. Hi. Um, can you tell me where exactly the Easter Bunny is? Okay, so uh, he's going to be located in our food court. You know where that's at? Um, on the lower level? Okay, so no, on the second level is our food court. Uh -huh. um, and he is going to be in the back area of the food court next to California Pizza Kitchen. California Pizza Kitchen. Yeah. So if you're on the side where Cheesecake Factory is, um, you're on the wrong side. You're going to go to the opposite side of the mall. And that's where you'll see Cheesecake, um, California che uh, Pizza Kitchen. <laughs> yeah, so on the other side is California Pizza Kitchen. That's the entrance that you want to go through. Okay. And I'm 46. Is, is he going to have a problem with me sitting on his lap? Is he? Uh... <laughs> I'm sure he won't. Okay, cool. As long, as long as you have money to pay them for the photo, they should not have a problem with it. Okay, well, I've had issues with Santa's <laughs> and stuff in the past. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, they seem like pretty cool people when I went up there. They seem like they're kind of like on the outgoing side, so I don't think they would mind. Is California... I mean, do you want... I'm sorry, uh -huh. what, what was that? No, go ahead. <laughs> oh, I was just wondering, is California Pizza Kitchen, is that in the mall or is that outside? It's, it, well, it has inside seating and outside, so it's like half and half. Oh, so I you'll see. It's see labeled, the restaurant. It's labeled CP, CPK on the th I was confused. Yes, uh-huh. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. No problem. Okay. So you'll want to go through the entrance on that side, and right when you walk in, you'll see the Easter Bunny set up. Okay, great. Thank you very All much. All righty. Uh -huh. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Thanks, and I apologize in advance. It's weird that they'd put the Easter Bunny back there. Like, there's no connecting store over there. I mean, it's at the entrance of the food court, but you'd think they'd put him out in the middle. I want to call back and say, do they make Santa sit back there? Probably not. They probably have his throne right in the middle. And on level one. Like, they're just, they're just being assholes to the Easter Bunny. So, okay, yeah. I, I guess we should start doing calls. Um, we're going to be calling people from a mall. This is a request from Max Power. He sent me the names of three different malls that are having Easter Bunny events. Uh, this guy has been here since since March 30th, this Easter Bunny. And he's going to be there until April 20th. Blaze it! They're open until 7pm tonight. So yeah, I'm basically I'm going to do the Santa thing again. Uh, Max Power here. Remember those mall Santa calls you did during the holidays? I had an idea. As you know, the Easter is fast approaching. This could be an opportune time to do some Easter Bunny mall calls. I found a few malls who are having Easter Bunny events if you want to give it a shot. And I emailed him and gave him the link to this, to this uh, show. So I, I don't think I see him in the room, though, unless Barman is him. I wish I could zoom in on this small map. Okay, anyway, uh, what do you guys think I should do? Um, I, I could, uh, I mean, these don't all have to be Easter Bunny calls. I can call from one place to the other. I think I'm going to call California Pizza Kitchen first, though. There's a Johnny Rock Rockets directly across from them, so they could, they could also be uh, causing problems for the Easter Bunny. Jesus. California Pizza Kitchen at Mall Street speaking. Hey, is this the manager? No, um, I can get a manager on for you. Is it going to take can a I long time? I'm calling from the mall office. Is it going to take a really long time? 
Uh, no. Uh, I, it's going to be, um, I have my manager, like, right here at the corner. Okay. Hey, you're not the, the guy that's looking at me, are you? Wait, uh, no. Um, I, no. Okay. Um, but yeah, let me get my manager right now. Hurry Give up. Me one second. Thank you. Okay, please hold. Hurry up. It's very loud there. Sounds like a busy day for the mall. This is Terry. May I help you? Hey, Terry. Uh, this is the guy that's uh, being the Easter Bunny over in the food court, you know? Yes. Uh huh? And your employees keep looking at me. Okay. Can you tell them to stop looking at me like that? Okay. Which one? I don't know. It's uh, mostly the male employees, but the females are too. And that guy, I asked him if it was him, and he giggled. They, you say they're looking at you? Yeah, they just keep looking at me. They're, like, giving me snake eyes. Okay. All right. And I, I, don't, I shouldn't have to put up with this. You know, I'm, I'm here trying to, you know, entertain kids and all you, all you people. It's probably you, too. Like, you just keep looking at me. Are you serious? Yeah. I, I don't get why you have to be like that. I'm just trying to do my job just like you guys are. Why, why don't you just mind your own damn business? Okay. Strike one. <laughs> uh, I wish I would have seen that, Nathan. Bunnies are afraid of snakes. No snake eyes. Mike Ricori says I could call the office and complain that Easter is offensive, which I might do. But also, I could um, I could call up a business and say, hey, I heard you don't like Easter. I heard, I heard you have a problem with Easter. What, are you not a Christian? Jenny Rooker, we're going to help you. Hey, uh, this is Roy. I'm the guy that's in the Easter Bunny suit out there in the food court. Okay. And I've had two different mothers tell me today that you guys use bunny meat in your burgers. And I think you could at least not do that on the days that I'm here, just until April 20th. We what, sir? You using bunny meat in your burgers. Like, you, you should, it's offensive to not only the Easter holiday, but it's offensive to Jesus. And it seems like you could just not do that for at least, you know, just while I'm here. Because I'm right across from you. <laughs> and it's not funny. Like, why are you laughing? Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Bye-bye. Well, can you please... All right. <laughs> Strike two. Can I help you? Is this Sabaro? Sabaro, this is Deborah. How may I help you? Okay, well, you said it weird. Like, your, your voice cut out. Hey, this is Roy. I'm in the Easter Bunny costume over here. Uh-huh. Why do you keep looking at me? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, can you can you stop? Because it's like, do you have a problem with the Easter Bunny or with religion or something? No. Because you, you just keep looking over here. How can I help you today, love? No, I'm, I'm calling to find out why you keep looking over here. Oh no. How can I help you, love? Um, can you bring me some pizza? I'll have one of the uh, associates bring you pizza. Okay, just one slice. Uh, what? And a pepperoni? Soda. Uh, yeah, pepperoni is good. And a uh, Coke or a Pepsi. Okay. Pepsi? Yep. Okay. And I'm not paying. Okay, do that. I'm not paying. <laughs> no problem. Okay, I'm not paying. Like, you're laughing, I but understand. I'm not paying. I'm, I'm the goddamn Easter no problem, Bunny. Sir. I can't. I can't have you go out of out of your uniform, so that's fine. You can't have anything me. else for you, love. Uh, nope, that's all. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll send someone over with a slice in your drink. Do you have sliced eggs? I'm sorry. Do you have sliced eggs? Uh, no. Um, can I have three slices of pepperoni? Uh, one moment. Please. And two sodas. Thanks, Constable. I'm a lady. Do you think I'm going to help you? 
Oh, hey, she was taking care of everything. This is Roy. I'm in the Easter Bunny suit over here in the food court. Oh, what you said? I'm the Easter Bunny. I'm calling you from over uh-huh. here in the food court. Okay. Why do you have to be looking over here all the time at me like that? What? Why are you always looking over here at me like that? I'm not sure who this is. This is Roy. I'm, I wear the Easter Bunny outfit you know, in the food court, uh-huh. you know, like right over here. Yes, sir. Like, what's your problem with me? You just not like. You don't like. You don't like. You don't like religion or something. I don't like what. Are you Satanist or something? Um, Are you atheist? Uh, no, I'm not sure who this is. Uh, I already told you a couple times now. This is Roy. Fuck. Does that mean I don't get my pizza? Because that's gonna be bullshit. Yeah. I, I should I call? No, I'm not gonna call back. I want to say Mr. Big's thing. Oh, hiding Easter eggs. What a great idea, Nathan. I'm going to do something with that. I'm copying and pasting that to my notes. I think I'm going to stop calling people that are, um, like, right by there. Maybe we'll come back to that because there's still several. But let's just go other places in the mall. Thank you for calling Bath and Body Works. How may I help you? Hey, this is Roy from the mall office. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Good, and you? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> good. <laughs> Do you want me to get a manager on the line real oh, quick? Oh, no. Well, maybe. I don't know. Like, we had one of our uh, workers here. They came into your store, and they hid Easter eggs all over the store. Gotcha. So they're hidden everywhere, like just behind oh. products and in drawers. And they, they, yeah. didn't, they didn't tell you about it because we had to be keep it hidden, you know? Gotcha. Yeah, no, you're fine. Um, here, let me get a manager on the line just so that they get a heads up so that they know, <laughs> like, the influx of people coming in. Okay. Give me one quick sec. I'll get someone on the phone for you in just one second. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Give me one sec. She has a plucky attitude. Hi, thanks for holding. This is Lex. How can I help you? Hi, Lex. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Hey, um, this is Roy from the mall office. Okay. Um, you didn't see uh, one of our people in there hiding eggs around the store did you um i don't think so we had somebody come in earlier to drop off a rest- like um a whatchamacallit an overnight paper but i haven't seen anybody since then oh what is it really slow there today the in the store yeah no we're kind of busy right now oh, okay well anyway um we had someone come in there and hide easter eggs all over the store so, okay. So they're hidden behind products and inside products and like in drawers and cabinets just everywhere. Like they're hidden everywhere in your store. Okay. And the Easter Bunny is going to show up in just a few minutes inside your store. He's going to be hopping. Okay. And he's got like his Easter basket. He's going to have kids with them and stuff. The, your store is going to fill up with kids. Okay. And he's going to challenge okay. them to an Easter egg hunt. Okay. But the way he works is he's really comical. Okay. So he's going to be like knocking over stuff in your store, like knocking over shelves and displays mm-hmm. and stuff mm-hmm. while he finds the eggs. Okay. And you guys didn't find like the, uh, the golden egg yet, did you? No. Okay. Because that one's worth uh, actual, you know, like prize money. So if you find that, like, don't, don't, just don't touch the eggs. They're not for you. Okay. But the Easter Bunny is going to come hopping in there. And he's going to be uh, very just just outrageous and crazy. You know, he's going to knock over displays and break things. Okay. So I'm sorry about that. You're okay. That's just, Is there anything else I can help you with? Just the guy we got this year. Okay. Is there anything else I can help you with? Oh, <laughs> uh, just don't touch the eggs, okay? They're they're for the kids. Okay. You're not promise. A, you're not a kid. I am not a kid. You are correct. Okay. Um, there's going to be an Easter egg fight in there. A fight? Yeah. No, like the, like a food fight. They're going to be throwing Easter eggs at each other. Mm-hmm. But they're hard-boiled, so they're not going to hurt anything. It's fine. Perfect. Sounds good. Um, for the rest, anything else? For the rest of the day, can you please answer the phone, Bath and Bunny Works? Yes. Okay. Bath and Bunny Works. Write that down and put it on the phone. Perfect. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Yeah, she didn't believe it at all.
We got to do that somewhere else. We need to do that at a uh, um, a jewelry store because they're the ones that always get freaked out about someone coming in and wrecking things. Uh, next to Body Bath and Bunny Works is uh, Kendra Scott. Never heard of that. I bet you it smells like perfume, though. It makes me sick when I walk in there. Oh, Kendra Scott is a jewelry store. How convenient. Thanks for calling Kendra Scott. This is Ariel. How may I help you? Hey, Ariel. Uh, this is Roy from the mall office. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. Hey, uh, good. The, e the Easter Bunny is going to be coming in there pretty soon in your store. Okay. With, the, with a bunch of little kids. Oh, okay. And they're going to be doing kind of an event in there, and there's going to be a bunch of kids and people with cameras, and stuff's probably going to get knocked over because the Easter Bunny, he only hops. Oh. So um, they're going to, they've hidden a few eggs around your store, like behind the merchandise and stuff, like under tables, around displays. Um, the mall did or, or we did? One of the mall employees did. We, we had him kind of come uh. in there and just kind of discreetly place some eggs around. So he's going to come in and find some of those eggs, the Easter Bunny is, unless the kids find him first. Do you know and, when they came and put the, the um, eggs? I don't know, like just uh, not too long ago. Uh, but like what they did over at Radio Shack is they um, they did this thing where they got in a like a food fight. They started throwing eggs at each other. Oh Lord! So it's, <laughs> it's gonna it's just it's not gonna last very long. Maybe ten minutes tops. But okay. th they're gonna th there's gonna be a kind of a food fight in your store. Okay. I don't know if someone came in and dropped off eggs in our store though. Oh no! They, they 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 kind of. They kind of browse discreetly. They wouldn't have told you because there's this one egg that's really valuable and they don't want employees finding it. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, so they discreetly came in. Gotcha. I'm like, I haven't seen anyone from the mall come in today. Yeah, check the security cameras. You'll, <laughs> you'll see them hiding. I had to, like, call for a break. <laughs> <laughs> but I will we'll definitely keep an eye out for the babies coming through. For the what? For the little kids. Oh, yeah. Did you call them babies? <laughs> Yeah, little I mean, babies. They're they're like just grade schoolers. Jeez. Okay. All right. Um, Is that all? Yeah, but the bunny. Um, like, do you have any valuable stuff out right now? Because the bunny, uh, he's like in the big suit and he hops and he tends to knock over displays and break things. Um, we have all our jewelry out that we're not going to be able to move. So. Okay. We'll just uh, you like know maybe before. try and keep yourself in between the Easter Bunny and really expensive stuff because he knocks things over okay perfect this guy that that's doing it this year he's kind of a mess oh, okay all right well thanks for the heads up all right and the heart the eggs are they're all hard boiled so they're not gonna cause any real damage they're just gonna you know break open and make a mess but no damage okay. you know it's just eggs all over the place Okay. So if you have actual Thanks jewelry so out, like, be careful with that because the egg juice, it's, like, acidic. It'll kind of, like, eat through the, the fake, fake gold stuff, the fake gold paint you put on there. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, it'll be about okay, five minutes. Okay. They're perfect. on the way. Thanks, bye. All right. Bye. Okay. Not sure if she believed it. Did she believe it? Mr. Big says we lost track of a few eggs in your store, and they were not hard-boiled. Yes, I will do that. Uh, GameStop is next. GameStop employees never believe anything. So whatever I do here, th this is just going to be kind of like a, a mid-show break call. This is going to be the call. To, you know, just just don't expect anything from this one. Thank you for calling GameStop. It's GameStop. We're going to get the hottest new video games, consoles, and collectibles for less. Like that. Thank you for calling your local GameStop. My name is Robert. How can I help you? Hey, Robert. This is Carol uh, from the mall office. Yeah, how can I help you? How are you doing? I'm doing good. Oh, that's good. How are you? Pretty good. Um, hey, the Easter Bunny is going to be coming in your store in just a minute. Um, okay. And uh, he's going to have a bunch of little kids with him. Okay. And they're going to be running around your store like crazy. Like they're doing an Easter egg hunt. There's a bunch of eggs hidden inside your store. 
We, there we had, is? Yeah, we had an employee come in and, and hide eggs around your store. They probably didn't tell you. No, uh, no not that I know of, no. Okay. So okay. The, the well, thank you for calling ahead. Oh, yeah, no problem at all. The Easter Bunny is going to come in there. Uh, things are going to get pretty rowdy, but it shouldn't last for more than maybe 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, awesome. And, Thank uh, you. Like, like they're like the kids tend to uh, throw eggs, like like they get rowdy and throw eggs. So there might be some egg throwing, but they're hard boiled. Hopefully, so okay. It's, it's not going to break anything. It's just going to make a mess. Okay. Awesome. And Thank you. The Easter Bunny hops around a lot, so he's probably going to knock things over, like displays and all that. Okay. So it's it's going to okay. Like just just uh, you know be be prepared. When you come, come with me, Sergeant. Alrighty. Um, thank you. Thank you for calling ahead. Oh, sure, no problem. No, uh, no, just, stay. Just... Stay. Stay. Hey. Yeah. Who are you telling okay, to... thank you so much. Who are you telling to stay like that? Um, because, uh, like, everyone's about to leave me on the floor by myself, so I'm letting me... I'm making sure everyone stays. <laughs> oh, for the Easter Bunny thing? <laughs> you didn't want me to leave. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, could I talk to a customer real quick? A customer? Yeah, just for a survey. Sure. Okay, yeah, hold on. Excuse me, sir. Quick question. Um, yeah. Do you speak English? Yes. Yeah. Um, wow. So, um, our mall manager, like the person yeah. in charge of like, the whole mall, wants to speak to you. Is that fine? Yeah. 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 Really? Yes. Yeah. Hello? Hey, this is Carol from the mall hey. office. Okay, this it, is Nilis Yeah, Ooh. yeah. You, you keep looking up at the security cameras. And huh? you keep, like, there's a security camera in that store, and you keep looking up at it. Ah. And it's freaking me out. Oh, do I? Oh, <laughs> sorry, I, I'm looking at the headsets. Oh, no, no, you keep, you keep looking up there and giving me snake eyes, and it's freaking me out. <laughs> sorry, I was looking at the headphones. Oh, no, That's no, you were, you were looking at me. You were looking, like, you were looking, and you were pointing at me. Okay, so, goodbye. Can, I don't, like, you, you cut that out. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hi. Hey, did the Easter Bunny get there yet? Uh, no. Okay, all right. He'll be there any minute. Like, get ready. Oh, okay. It, it's going to awesome. get crazy Thank in Thank you. There. Yeah, no, I, I was letting everyone know because apparently no one got told, yeah. Yeah, no, we didn't, okay. didn't want to awesome. let you know because you might have said no. Okay, well. <laughs> all right, cool. <laughs> all right, thank you so much for the call. Oh, no problem at all. Have a nice day. <laughs> you too, bye. Bye, honey baby, sweetie pie. Nobody's believing this. I think we need to move on to something else. Pretty much every call has been just complete garbage today. Dang it. Hey, nine people watching now. Hey, everyone. If you're just tuning in, you're very lucky because nothing's working out today. All right, what's next? Next to GameStop, we've got Janie and Jax, which is classic children's clothing, rich in fabric, design, and detail. It's distinctive, finely crafted clothing and accessories for the little ones in your life, ages preemie through eight years old. We also offer personalized customer service. What? And gift packaging. Thank you for calling in and Jack. Mary is speaking. Hey, uh, this is Roy. I'm the, the Easter Bunny here in the mall. Uh-huh. And someone was telling me that you were talking shit about the Easter Bunny and about Easter. What? Like, like uh, I've heard from like a couple different moms today. They brought their kids up and they're, they're like, yeah, we were over at that Janie and Jack's. And they were saying they, d they hate the Easter Bunny. And they don't like Easter. What? And they, they wish you weren't in the mall. That can be. It, 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 what? I, I can't believe that. I just don't. I can't believe it we either. We love that, Easter that Bunny. And we lo every time that Ken had a, a baby here, we did the advertisement about the Easter Bunny. Did you already took the picture with the Easter Bunny? You have to do it. It's so nice. Oh, no, no. So they, I they, don't understand. They said you hate the Easter Bunny. They said you, you hate Easter. No. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I don't know why you'd be like that. Why do you have to be like that? Me neither. Me neither. Because... I, I don't receive payment for do, do advertisement, you know, and I, 
and every well, girl or boy that entered with that is with our store, we said, oh, you have to go and see the Easter Bunny. Then why would you say it's you so hate So nice, hate, so cute. Were, were, were you like... You we have to we didn't say that. I don't understand what you are saying that because we didn't do that. Were, were you like, you have to see the Easter Bunny even though I hate him? Sorry? Is, what, I, is, there, I, is there more people than you there? Maybe it's the other employees that are being that way? Maybe, I don't know, but we... Uh, as as soon as I as I see a, a bunny, I said, "Oh my God, you a, a, a kid, sorry, a kid," and I said, "You you already took the picture with Mr. Bunny. You have to see. It. It's so lovely." Hey, do you so I don't understand. They they also said you were selling like fur clothing, like bunny fur, and telling people telling people it was made the out what? of they like I've been told that you guys you guys are selling uh, you, clothes that is made out of bunny fur and saying see that clothing over what? there that used to be made from you can come in here you can come here and see the clothes and see our store so we never do that yeah but so. i'm probably not real easter bunny fur but that like, you were telling little kids that it was from the easter Give me bunny one second. it was fur <laughs> Oh, come on. I want to hear what's going on. That was Nathan Baker's idea, bunny fur clothing. Good afternoon. This is the store manager of Jenny and Jack. How may I help you? Oh, hey there. Um, I, I'm, I'm the guy that's in the Easter bunny suit today. Okay, awesome. I was just hoping you could, like, stop telling all the kids that you hate Easter and, and the Easter bunny's stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. Can you get make it more clear? So you're the photographer, or you just set up the the area? Oh no, I'm I'm in the Easter Bunny costume. You and the Easter Bunny. Are you working in the Easter Bunny area? Yeah. No, I I am the okay. Easter Bunny. I am the Easter Bunny. You are the Easter Bunny. Okay. Let me tell you something. I witness. I'm, I I person, personally advertise that area every day. Right now, I advertise that area. Right now, it gotta be a confusion, you, misunderstanding. You advertise I that we're stupid. I witness my whole staff. Listen, listen to me, sir. No, listen to me. I'm the store manager, and all of here, I witness everybody talking about the Easter Bunny. Oh my God, how you take Easter Bunny picture? We love this. You should take a look. We send people over there all the time. They don't even know you guys are there. I just telling you that. Yeah, so I wanna, I wanna inter. No, let me tell you. I'm gonna interview but, 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 my. But, that's serious. I'm gonna interview my whole staff about it and see who's saying that, and we'll be held accountable to that person. Okay. And I'm gonna write it up the person because I witness. No, I'm serious about this. I'm witness everybody here witness, uh, promoting you guys there because we support the all events. And I love that Easter Bunny. So I just did that like five minutes ago. This is not. This is serious. So this would, is not happening like that here. Would you say you promote the Easter Bunny more than Santa we or, or less? We advertise you guys. I promote Bird Bunny. I say, hi, how you guys saw the Easter Bunny? So I just did it like five minutes ago. This is so ridiculous. And I witnessed my staff doing it. So I'm going to interview my whole entire staff, and I'm going to hold accountable with the person. If that would be the case. Yeah, there was this, if that would be the case. There was this mother here just a few minutes ago. I'm like, hey, have you seen, that, mean, uh, have you seen that Janie and Jax? Don't go there. That place is stupid. Okay, what that co customer that customer says? No, don't that, come that's, here. Places. That's what I said. I said don't come there. And also, I heard you you've been selling. Oh, okay, uh, oh, okay. Listen, 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 listen. Who said that? Why was the fact the phrase? That that was me. That was because I was angry because you you were saying I was stupid. But then also because you're selling bunny fur no. clothes. Okay, why? Okay, listen, listen. To be mature enough, we have to handle this face to face before we react. And first of all, I'm telling you right now, I advertise strongly, you guys, because I love the Easter Bunny and Santa Claus setup, and I always mention every single customer for the most part, even my staff. But I want to interview my whole staff and see who's gonna say some, who's saying something negative. If that would be the case, anybody in my staff would be held accountable and wanna uh -huh. make a document, documentation. Yeah. Yes, this, I take this so seriously. This one mother said. That you, you had a chocolate Easter bunny and you bit off its head and said... <laughs> oh, okay, listen to me. Are you listening to those... Uh, there's, some, there's some person I cycle. There's some people have mental problems. First of all, we are not allowed... Li listen, we are not allowed to give away candies in the store at all. So oh, you who shouldn't say be eating about, the Easter bunny's head then. Oh, she hung up. She hung up on me. <laughs> right in the middle of all of that. <laughs> Holy shit. Should I call back? I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, she, it was definitely an accident. She was in mid sentence. 
I don't know if she understood me about <laughs> me saying that she was stupid. She wouldn't let me talk, though. All right, pink is lingerie. Our store hours oh, that would be great. Biggs wants to know if there's a pet store in there. Because I would have a word or two with them. Thank you for calling Pink Hey, uh, this is Roy. I, um, I'm the one wearing the Easter Bunny costume o over here in the, okay. in the food court, you know? Uh-huh. Hey, and the, the mothers keep telling me that uh, you guys are saying that I'm gay. Excuse me, what? <laughs> like, the, the mothers are saying that you're saying I'm gay, like in a derogatory way. Give me just one second. Okay. Thank you for holding. How can I help you? Oh, hey, this is Roy. I'm, I'm the guy in the Easter Bunny suit over here in the food court. Uh-huh. How come you keep telling everyone that I'm gay? Uh, no one said anything like that. Oh, somebody there is. They're, they're, they're saying that I'm, I'm gay and I'm a weird pervert and that I like kids just because I'm the Easter Bunny. And that's I'm not, sorry. I haven't heard any of that. That's not cool. You shouldn't be like that. You know, we're all... I, I'm just working just like you. I don't say that you're a yeah, weird... Yeah, no. Weird gay I'm not, I haven't said any of that. Someone said you, that you is said... Is this the correct phone number for you that I can call you back on? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Please call me back. Maybe if you want to apologize later and, you know, fess up to I what you're doing. I haven't said anything. But, um, can you tell me what, what was said by who? Uh, Maybe a name? They, they're just saying, like, all those girls over at the pink store, they're, they're all, all giggling and, and talking about how gay you are and, and that you're a weird... Yeah, I can assure you that's not happening. I... Yeah, they, they, they said that you said I'm, I'm a weird pervert just because I, I like to hang out with kids all day and have my pictures yeah, taken not, with them. I'm not sure who's telling you that, but I can assure you it's not the truth. Uh, this one mother told me that you guys said I was taking up skirt photos of kids. No. That's not cool, you know? Like that, that's, You're messing with my livelihood here. I assure like, you that's not happening. What was your name again? Easter Roy? Bunnies have rights too. Yeah, this is Roy. And also they, they, okay. they said that you're selling like furry stuff over there, like, like you know, just fluffy stuff. And you're, you're telling people that it's made out of um, Easter Bunny fur. Like, no. And, you know, like we, so we, I have 4206969, is that correct? Yeah. And they're, they're saying that you, you're saying like you, you wish that, that, you know, that was made out of, you, you skinned that, 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 that guy yeah, that's, that's playing the Easter Bunny. And, I can assure you that's not the case, okay? Well, which one of you is doing it? Because it's not cool. Like, I don't see why you have to be like that. I'll look into it, but I mean, I've been on the floor all day. I haven't heard a single thing. Are you just making fun of me because I'm a guy and I don't shop there? I'm not at all. Because you know you won't lose a customer that way? I'm really I'm not sure what you're talking about. I, I'm going to start telling the kids not to shop at your place. Okay. I mean, I can't stop you from doing that, but I can assure you that we have not done any of that, okay? Well, I, like, I don't know, multiple people have said that, that, that you've been like that, and I, I just don't see why. Don't I'm see why not like sure. They, they, I don't really know what to tell you, but I can assure you it's not happening, so this, I don't know what they're doing, but... They said that you said I'm a furry, but I'm not a furry. This okay. is just my job. All right, so. Roy. I'm just, I'm, I understand. I'm, just, I'm gonna let you continue to do to your job, and I'll look into it. Okay. Okay. Well, can you please stop saying mean things about me? Because, like, to be honest, it hurts my feelings. I apologize, but I promise you, nobody has said anything about you. Okay. Okay. Um, do you All right. If Thank you, you. If you change your mind about, uh, you know, coming clean and and just apologizing and stuff, can you call me back? Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. Bye. I'm not a furry micro corgi. <laughs> Ah oh, man, I, sh I should have done that. Tanner loves Xbox. Need some sexy bunny underwear. Oh, only seven people now. I lost a couple people. They're like, "Fuck this shit." This show's boring. Is it okay, bad, chicos? Is it Cindy? Hey, Cindy, do you sell perfume there? No, we don't. Crud. Sorry. Yeah. Crud. <laughs> Hey, um, I'm. This is the. I'm. I'm. This is Roy. I'm the guy in the Easter Bunny suit over in the food court. Oh, uh, hi, Bunny. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> good. How are you? I'm good. Hey, did you find my wallet in there by chance? Your wallet? Yeah. No. So so far, we have not found any wallet. Oh. Um, but what I will suggest you to do normally when people find stuff, they give it either to the people that clean or um, the security. So I will call the security 
of the mold to see if maybe someone has to return it to them. Oh, because I was in your store. They find them if- I, I slept in your store last night. The mall manager gave me the key. And now my wallet's like nowhere. Like I can't find it at all. So it might be in the back room. No, because whenever we, we find something, we um, like we have a notebook, we communicate it, uh-huh. and then we will put it there, but we, I haven't seen no notes. What about my flannel shirt? Hi. What about my flannel shirt? Because I was using that as a pillow. Your what? I was using my flannel shirt as a pillow, and I think I left that on the floor. Did you find a flannel shirt in there, in the back room? No. No. <sighs> Darn. So you were in the stock room? Yeah, well, I, I guess the stock, yeah, just like right there in the back. Behind, I slept behind the counter for most of the night, and then I moved to the, the back room. But I was, I was using my flannel shirt as a pillow. No, no. Yeah. We didn't find anything. Are you the manager? Yes. Oh. Assistant manager, is there yeah. Any, is there anyone else there? Can you ask them if they found anything? Maybe they just sure, kept, maybe I, they just kept it. No, they wouldn't keep anything. Well, you never know. Like maybe if you confront them. <laughs> no, we have pretty good honesty. No, they will. But I can ask us for you. Yeah, well, you know, like thieves are good at lying and pretending they're honest. Um, but if we find anything, um, we will notify security. Well, can you can you ask real quick? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to ask. Hold on. Give uh, me don't, one don't, put, don't, put me, don't put me on hold, though. Okay, no problem. Because I want to hear their reaction. I can spot a liar. Did she set the phone down? Ma'am? Can you tell that kid? Hello? Hello. Yes, no. I asked, we are working three people, and I asked them, and they, they all said no. Um, any, did you find anything else back there at all? No. Besides the flannel shirt on my wallet? No. Um, my Peter Cottontail DVD? No, we have found nothing. Um, I may have left some poop pellets. Mm-mm. You know, just like... They, they might be kind of like up against the wall or something you might not have noticed. Can you look for poop pellets? Well, we clean every single Sunday morning. It's deep cleaning, so we will have noticed. Oh, did you sweep any poop pellets up? No. Because I, sa- I no. save those for the winter. No. All right. Well, thanks for asking and checking and everything. Of course, of course, good luck. You're not the one hiding it, right? Like, you're not, like, are you the dishonest one? Because you seem, like, really adamant, like, eh, we're, we're honest, but maybe that's something, like, a thief would say. No, 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 we, I, I trust in my team. They are very honest. Yeah, but do you trust? They will never keep. But can I trust you? Oh, yeah, of course. I'm in a trustable position. Yeah, but uh, lots of people are, and they always violate that trust. Can, no, I, can no, you please no. just give me my wallet back and my flannel shirt? If we find it, we will report to security. Oh, can you just call me back on this number? Yes. Thank you. I have to go lay no an egg. Problem. I have to go lay an egg now. All righty. Have a it. great day. All right. I love you. All right. Thank you. Say you love me back. We love you. No, say I love you. <laughs> No. <laughs> As Easter Bunny of this mall, I command you to say that I love you. No. Sorry. All Not right. this year, Easter Bunny. All right, bye. All right, bye-bye. I know you do, though. So Journeys is a uh, shoes, accessories, just shoes. Shoes and accessories, mostly shoes, it looks like. Judging from the the windows. Hey, uh, this is Roy. I'm the Easter Bunny here in the mall. Uh, hey, what's up? Hey, um, do you have any of that spray stuff that you spray in shoes to get rid of like really bad smells? Um, let me see. Like athlete's foot. Or, 
Or yeah, just... we have a. Yeah, we have a. We have one of those. It comes in the kit, five dollars. It has like um, has a cleaner, a photo cleaner, wipes. Okay, but does it get rid of smells? Yeah, it has a. I'm trying to see it exactly when it shows up. It does. But this I have this bunny head on right now, and it smells like feet. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Um, let me see. I'm trying to find one. I don't think it. I don't think any of them do now. I, I have a burden style one that has a refresher. You had a one. I know you could use, but they have a burden stock refresher. I mean, it comes in the kit 18 now. Uh, what kind? What kind of material is the head? Uh, it's like um, I don't know. It's it's all it's like a hard felt. Suede. Yeah, that's it. Well, this one works on a I've suede and nubuck synthetic leather and stuff. It's a refresher. It eliminates odor. Odor. Been, odor so. Been in the suit like all week, and they won't let me wash it. <laughs> yeah, no, that sucks. Uh, I mean, it, like I said, this Birkenstock cleaner, it says it works on suede and nubuck. Um, they probably work in the head. It eliminates old, uh, odors. Odors. And it's five dollars. It's a refresh. No, uh, no, this one is eighteen because it comes in the in a Birkenstock kit. Okay, well, it's, it's worth it. Okay, bring it over, please. I'm over in the food court by uh, California Pizza Kitchen. Um, I. It's an emergency. Just, just do it. <laughs> one bottle. Uh, let me see if I can. I can see if I can send one of the part timers over there. Okay. I'd have to see that. Why can't you come? Uh, man, I'm the only manager here. I can't wait. Oh, so what? They're not going to do anything. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I can't. Let me see if I want a part timer when it slows down. Okay. Yeah, All I'll right. just I'll pay cash and I'll I'll give a tip. Oh, okay, no problem. So you're missing out on a tip. <laughs> no problem. I'll see if they can. I'll see if they can. All right. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> Tell them to hurry. No problem. All right. Got you. C can you can can you have them like? Can you have them? Can you have them open it up for me and like spray it in the in the eye holes? Uh. Yeah. I'll see. I mean, yeah. You just tell them to walk over and spray it in the eye holes. Oh, young up. Good job, Mr. Biggs. Now I think he's not even going to come over and do it because I had to do the eye hole thing. All right. So uh, we have not called something vegetarian. Um, Nathan wants me to order some lettuce and carrots. I want to have them come over and feed me because it would be so funny for the kids. They'll love it. Chipotle is within... Hello, this is Chipotle. This is Mary speaking. What can I help you? Hey, Mary. Um, do you have carrots there or like lettuce? Lettuce? Yeah. We have, but carrots we don't. Okay. Um, what about other veggies? We have corn, tomatoes, um, and yeah, that's it. And also peppers and onions. Um, Grilled peppers. I guess we'll just stick with lettuce. Um, I'm I'm calling from you know where the I, I'm the Easter Bunny today. I'm, I'm over here dressed up uh -huh. in the Easter Bunny suit. Uh huh. Can you bring a bunch of lettuce over here and feed it to me in front of the kids? Um, it's going to be cute. Yeah, just, just a second. Did she say green peppers? I didn't hear her say green peppers. Thank you for holding. This is Chase. How can I help you? Hey, Chase. It's Roy. I'm in the Easter Bunny suit. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. Um, I just need you to bring some lettuce. Did she say you have green peppers? Green peppers? Yeah. No, I only have the red peppers right now. Okay, yeah. Well, just lettuce will be fine. Can you bring over, like, a container of lettuce and feed it to me in front of the kids? Okay, did you... Did, uh, okay, I've never heard that before. Oh, did you I'm, talk to somebody about this earlier? No, no, I'm just calling you right now. I'm in the Easter Bunny suit. I'm the Easter Bunny. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you need just like a little, just like a little, little bit of lettuce. Well, can you bring a bunch of it and just feed it to me? Like stand there and feed it I to me. I can't. I unfortunately not. I'm the only manager on duty right now. I can, well, I can bring in like a little couple, like a couple sides of lettuce. I can do that for you if you want. Yeah, but like, can you can you feed it to me? And I'll be like, um, num num num. You know, it's it's gonna be funny. No, I get you, but I I personally can't do it. I'm the only manager on duty right now. Yeah, we'll just. Send I, have, I have to run a restaurant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just send one of the. I can the, definitely bring you a couple sides of the lettuce for you. That's not a problem. Can no. you send one of the underlings over? Uh, 
man, I'm sorry, but like we're kind of busy right now. I got, like I said, I got to run a restaurant right now. Yeah, we'll just take a second though. I just want you to feed me a little bit of lettuce while I take a picture um, with the I'll, kid. I, I can, I can, I can bring you the lettuce, bud. I can do that for you. All right, and just like, like pull one of the pieces of lettuce off and and you know put it in my mouth. There, there's like um, a little mouth hole. I'm just gonna yum yum. Yeah, yum. I, I was gonna say no. I get you, but I I can't do that, man. We're not supposed to be photographed in uniform. I'm the only manager. We're busy right now. I gotta take care of our guests. Well, your I uniform you will be just, uni you just like your arm will just be in the shot. It's cool, man. Man, I, I can bring you the I can bring you the lettuce. That's all I can do for you, bud. But, I'm um, sorry. I, I, okay, I don't I don't want to keep arguing about it. I'm I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm, I might make a big deal in front of the kids, and then you'll feel like obligated to, you know, like tell, you, know, you won't feed me. Why won't you feed me? Maybe, the, the maybe try contacting um, maybe Chick Fil A then. Oh, they maybe would, they can feed you the lettuce. They wouldn't answer the phone. And I'm, oh, gotcha. Yeah, because because right now, if, if if the big thing is you need me to actually feed it to you, I can't do that right now. All right, can you just bring lettuce over? You guys. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. I didn't want him to, like, not bring the lettuce over because that sounds too funny for him to bring a couple sides of lettuce over. And he didn't say anything about payment, so that's cool. People are so respectful to the Easter bunnies and the Santa Clauses. Hi, how's up? How may I help you? Hey, um, this is Roy. I'm the guy in the Easter bunny suit over here. You know? Where? In the, you know, right o like over by the uh, California Pizza Kitchen. Oh, yeah. Hey, Roy. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Hey, um, do you have lettuce there, like sides of lettuce? Um, I think we should. Or, or can you just... Let me go check in. Okay. All right. Do you guys need it for, like, your store or something? Uh, no, we don't have a store. I, I'm the Easter Bunny. I'm having my pictures with kids and stuff today. Oh, so you want it in a, uh, you want it, like, in a cup? Oh, well, can can you bring a container of it and feed it to me? Like, a you want a container of it and feed it to you? Yeah, yeah, just like, you know, I have like a little mouth hole in my suit, and I can just be like, yeah. um, num, 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 and you just like feed me okay. bits of lettuce, and the kids will love it. All right, I'll tell them. They're going to take pictures, and you don't have to be in the picture. Maybe just your hand will be in the picture. Okay. But it could be good promotion if you're in the picture. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be so fun. Okay, we're gonna come. We're coming now. Okay. Thank. Oh, nice. But th welcome. thank you. Um, right. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. Feed me. <laughs> Two people coming over now with lettuce. Uh, yeah, I should have said that. I'm sorry, Mr. Biggs. He wants me to tell her to shove it in the mouth hole. I love that two people are coming. Or well, maybe not two. Uh, at least one, though, is coming over. Look at the wheels on this gourmet place. That's got to be a bitch to mop around. Hello? Oh, hello? Hi, how can I help you? Hey, it's, it's, uh, it's Roy. I'm the Easter Bunny, you know, down over here by the, char the California pizza place. Yes. Um, do you have any carrots there? Yes. All right. Do you have like what kind of carrots? Are they little little nub nub carrots, or are they like Bugs Bunny sized carrots? Hello. Hello. Um, this is Roy. I'm the guy that's doing the Easter Bunny thing today. Yeah. Um, I was talking to someone and you you interrupted us. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yes. How can I help you? Well, do you have, do you have carrots there? I already know the answer. The answer is yes. What kind of carrots do you have? What? Get an asshole. She was doing just fine talking to me. He hangs up on me. God damn it, I'm the Easter Bunny. Oh, hey, I got hung up on. This is Roy. I'm the guy in the Easter Bunny suit over here by California Kitchen. Okay. Um, you're, you're not going to hang up on me, are you? Nope. That's good. <laughs> Um, I'm calling about your carrots. Okay. Uh, do you have, like, the long carrots like Bugs Bunny uses? Um, they're already cut up. Hi. Like Hi. Oh. How you doing? I'm the Easter Bunny. <laughs> Tell that guy to shut Tell the fuck up. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? <laughs> 
Wow. I don't know what just happened. I'm pretty sure like a three-year-old got on the phone at some point. You'd think, you'd think he'd be friendlier if his daughter was there, or granddaughter, or whatever she is. I, I Like I told that little girl I was the Easter Bunny, and I, I wanted to make Easter Bunny noises, but I couldn't think what they were. I, I was going to oink, and, and then she uh, hung up on me. All right, Mrs. Fields cookies. <laughs> you think they'll bring cookies to me? I don't see any lettuce. I wonder if they have green cookies. Wait, do they have carrot cookies? Can you cut your cookies up like carrots and bring them over? Yeah. Miss Fields, how can I help you? Hey, uh, this is Roy. I'm the guy in the Easter Bunny costume. Yes. And um, do you have any cookies that are like shaped like carrots for uh, Easter? You know. Uh, we don't have any, but we could um. We could make a share of cookie with a carrot drawing on it. Oh, that'd be so cool, but I don't want to pay for it. Also, you have, like, some sort of a drink that's orange? Uh, we have a uh, Fanta orange. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Um, can you bring me cookies and an orange drink? I'm going to tell the kids it's carrot juice, and I want you to feed it to me. Like, can you, hold, can you put a straw in it for me and hold it up to my mouth, and I'm going to slurp it? Um, I'm gonna be, I have to ask my boss. I'm going to be like, mm, 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 this is good carrot juice. Um, I have to ask my boss. Okay, can you just put a few chocolate chip cookies in the carrot juice? Okay, just one second. So it's like cookie flavored. There's... Oh, Everyone hates the Easter Bunny. Hublot is a weird-looking place. Hey, uh, this is Roy. I'm the guy in the Easter Bunny suit, you know, just down the hall a little bit. Okay. Yes. Um, well, why'd you say it like that? Do you hate Easter or something? No. I was just wondering. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh -huh. Hey, um, we're doing, like, a, a weird event thing with all the little kids. I'm going to be, like, mm -hmm. hopping into your store in a few minutes. Into my the Ublo store here. Yeah, I'm gonna be hopping in. Okay. I'm gonna be jumping. Okay. And I'm sorry, I'm kind of portly, so I tend to knock things over. Do you have like any expensive displays? Nothing. I mean, we have expensive displays, but I mean nothing that you can knock over. Okay, that's good because uh, I'm kind of clumsy. Okay. Um, the kids are gonna throw eggs while we're in there. They're like hard boiled. No. So they're not gonna break anything. No. No. Oh, oh, sorry, oh no! The, this is, we've we've done this at like uh, four other places already, and I'm not asking permission. Okay. I'm, I'm letting you know we're going to be there in about five minutes. Okay, I'm, I'm getting ready. That's to fine. Round up all. You don't you don't you don't have to say that you're telling me that you're going to come in. I'm telling you that I won't let you in. I mean, it's just like that. I mean, I'm sorry. Well, you, like what you are know, you? If I do? have a customer, if I have a customer in the store, I I'm not going to have you hopping around. Okay. Well, don't yell at me. I'm the Easter Bunny. And what are you going to do, like, f force the kids out? Like, you're going to, like, manhandle the little kids and throw them out of your store? Hello? Hi. Hello. I'm... Who are you? Uh, hey, this is, uh, this is Dave, uh, Bistro, uh, Europa next door. Hello? Sir? Yeah. No, I'm not... not sir. No, 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 Is she really just answering the phone? Gourmet Grill. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm calling is Gourmet Grill. It picked up, but it's complete, completely silent. Okay. I, I just wanted to be the next door people and, and just tell them to shut the fuck up. Yeah, she's not very good at answering the phone. I guess he doesn't care, you know? They probably don't take phone orders there, but still. I wish Mrs. Fields' cookies would have... Uh, why did they hang up on me? Bunch of assholes. Don't bring me Fanta soda with cookies in it. Mrs. Fields cookies. It was all about taking control of her life. So Debbie Fields, a young mother with no business experience, opened her first cookie store in Palo Alto, California in 1977. They told her she was crazy. 
No business could survive just selling cookies. Plus, she's a woman. Humble Beginnings launched Mrs. Fields into a worldwide celebrity and made her company the premier chain of cookie and baked goods stores. Like, isn't that supposed to be a description of what they sell and not, well, I guess, you know, they have cookies. But they have Fanta. It could, it could say that they, you know, they draw carrots on cookies. You know, tell us what you do, not your stupid history. Call Starbucks. Okay. All right, Nathan. You're the boss. Mr. I've got a map, too, and... Starbucks, Mall Millennium Upstairs. James, speaking. How may I help you? Hey, James. This is Steve from the corporate office with Starbucks. Okay. I'm just calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer in there I could speak with? I... Give just, me one second. Yeah, just any customer is fine. It's just a quick survey. We'll give them a free coffee I'm card. Up. So I have... Give me one second, Mr. Steve. Uh, thank you so much. Hey, Lee Taylor. Hi. Should we just pick anybody randomly? Hi, this is Norma. Hey, I'm Norma. One of the supervisors here. Do we just pick up anybody randomly? Oh, yeah, yeah, just anybody. Any, and like the most gullible looking one would be preferable. Um, just, you know, uh -huh. just a quick survey, and I'll just take a, a quick second. Oh, okay. And they get, they get a free coffee. Oh, we tell them to get a free coffee? Yeah, I'll give them a coupon code. <laughs> okay, let me go find someone for you. All right. Hello? But uh, I don't know. It's not one there. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, yes. Oh, now I can hear you. Okay. So there's no one there. All right. It was an elaborate ruse. I'm not really with corporate, ma'am. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm like da way down the hall over by uh, California Pizza Kitchen. Uh, this is okay. Roy. I'm, I'm the guy in the Easter Bunny suit. Okay. And I got her to give you the phone. Um, like when you walked by, you were looking at me and giving me snake eyes, and I don't appreciate it. I cannot see you. I no. don't know where you at. No, when you first, <laughs> when you walked by earlier, I'm the guy in the Easter Bunny suit. Oh, now I get you. All yeah, right. And, All right. And, and like I don't know, maybe you just don't remember because you look at everyone like that. But you, you were just um, looking at me and giving me snake eyes, and I it was not cool. Why are, okay. you, why are you being like that to everyone? I'm sorry? Why are you being like that to everybody? Okay. I mean, I'm just like that. I don't know. You know, like, <laughs> I'm a religious icon. I'm, like, pretty much bigger than Jesus. And, and you're, okay. like, do you, do you have a problem with Easter? If I would? Do, do you hate Easter? Do you hate Jesus? Oh, no. Why? I, I don't know. Like, just the way you were looking at me, you're acting like uh, you're just, you, you know, you hate religion and... and oh, no. You want to see no. the Easter Bunny hung on a cross or something. Oh, no. That's, not, that's I was, not right. I was smiling at you, and, like, you didn't even smile back. You just gave me snake eyes. Oh, really? Yeah. I even just maybe noticed that. Well, why would you give me snake eyes, though? You're just giving me snake eyes. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. This is weird. It's not cool. Like, if you walk by here again, do you think you could just apologize? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> It'd be the right thing to do. Cause, like, who's who's giggling in the background? Is that people with you? It's my daughter. Oh, yeah. Can you just tell her to shut the fuck up? The what? Like, be like, I'm on the phone. Shut the fuck up. Oh, no, I'm not going to say that. And if you continue talking like that, I hang up. Oh, can you put your daughter on the phone? I'm going to, I need to tell her something. You're not going to tell her that. Oh, no, I won't. It's something totally different. All right. Do you want to Hello? Hello. Uh, your mother was um, too timid 
to say this to you, but um, she's on the phone, and could you please shut the fuck up? Hang up. Did the mother say hang up? She must have been listening. Thanks, Mr. Biggs. Welcome to the show, Lee. How many people are listening now? Uh, seven. Still seven. Somebody left. Somebody is sick of me. Who's missing? Nathan Baker's still here. Mr. Biggs is here. Arbitrary Alex. Lee's here now. Micro Corgi. Wait, wait, is Micro Corgi gone? What an asshole. He left. Micro Corgi. Oh, no. There he is. Okay. You know, when I don't have, like, a bunch of people listening, I notice when uh, the numbers go down, and it really upsets me. I don't like this. Thank you for calling Urban Outfitters. Lindsay, how can I help you? Hey, Lindsay. Uh, this is Roy. I'm the Easter Bunny here at the mall. Uh-huh. You know, like, over by the food court? I do. And I'm getting ready to lead a large group of children to your store. Um, okay. Did anybody tell you <laughs> that I hit Easter eggs in your store last night? No, they did not. Okay, have you found any by chance? Um, let me ask. Uh, let me radio everybody. Hold okay. on one second. Ooh, you have radios? Guys, please listen up. Have anybody found any hidden Easter eggs? Because the Easter Bunny is going to do a walkthrough with someone. Oh, it's, it's more of a walkthrough. through. Oh, I just got put on hold. Okay, so, um, no, help, sorry, my phone's messing up. Um, nobody okay. has seen any. Um, that's good, because they're for the wherever, kids. Wherever, oh, yeah, that's what I told them, they're for children. Yeah. Um, the mall manager let me in last night after hours in your store, and I hit him all uh, over the place. Okay, well, um, just to kind of let you know, our store is a bit of a mess right now because we were short-staffed uh, last right night. Right now. <laughs> um, and, yeah, and we're trying to recover it. So um, well, it's what a, it's, actually does this entail? Well, it's about to get, <laughs> nice pun. Um, even messier is what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm kind of a portly man. Um, I, I bump into things a lot. So like, the, I know you have like security gates at the at the front doors. I'm probably gonna knock uh -huh. one of those over for be, for beginners. Uh, but I, I tend to um, knock over a lot of displays. Like I was in Macy's earlier, and it's a mess now. Um, and then okay. also, there's gonna be lots of kids running around. And at the last place at Macy's, they actually got into an egg fight. Like they were throwing eggs at each other. But they're most okay. they're mostly all hard boiled, the ones that we remembered. So it's not gonna. It's not going to damage anything. It's just going to make a huge mess. Just okay. Well, bits of I mean, everywhere. are you going to be breaking things? Because we do have a lot of breakable items. And yeah, I'm sorry. Expensive items. I, I'll, I'll do my <laughs> best. Was, not this, was but, this actually like told to our corporate office? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just coming in. Like we we just pick stores at random, and uh, we oh. we hit eggs in yours already. And I'll do my best not to knock things over, but it's definitely going to happen. Okay. And the, um, the kids are definitely going to... Do you have somebody that kind of leads you around? <laughs> no, not really. But the, the problem is, like, it'd be hard for them to, because I hop. I don't just walk I around see. like like a I schmuck. See. I'm hopping. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you do the real thing. I understand. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. Um, but I also do it for comical effect. Like, I, right, like, understand. I already have a plan as I come in, because there's this plant outside of your store. You know, the, the plant. I, I hit some eggs in there. Oh, okay, cool. And I'm going to hop over there and, like, knock it over on purpose and be like, oh, my God. You know, eggs are going to roll out. Be like, oh, my God. Uh, look right. at this, kids. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you're not going to do that with our items, are you? <laughs> well, I mean, it's all in good fun, okay? Just, just keep that uh, No, I understand that, except for the fact that um, nobody was, like, given... They never give me any of this information. I understand you pick stores at random, but if, if stuff is, like, damaged, yeah, you well, know what I'm saying? Like, who's supposed to pay for it? It's going to bring customers in. I mean, they're going to be, like, little uh, kids with no parents, but still, they're future customers. Right. <laughs> right. Understandable. Um, um, do you have a ladder? I do have... We have several. 
a step ladder, like one that's tall, like a uh, twelve foot. Yeah, but I don't know if that. Are you talking about getting on top of it? Yeah. Well, no, <clears throat> no just for the kids, because um, I hid eggs up in the light fixtures. They're probably getting kind of hot. Are those are those LEDs? They're not going to burn the kids' fingers, are they? Um, <laughs> I have no idea. Um, to be quite honest with you, um, and I. Can you tell? I'm sorry, but that is actually a very that's a hazard, and I I can't. I'm gonna have to call like somebody that's higher up than I am to see if that is even allowed. The kids will be higher up than you when they get on that ladder. <laughs> well, no, the fact that you, uh, children will be climbing a ladder in our store. Well, they're not <laughs> idiots. They're, you know, some of them. We'll just let the older kids up there, the ones that are like eight. Okay. Well, like I said, I, I'm going to have to definitely that, give somebody a call about this because, like, you know, I just don't want anything to happen on my watch and then I lose my job for it. Yeah. I was in there last night, though. I, I threw the eggs, like, up in the light fixtures after hours. Okay. You know, like, up on top um, of them. No, yeah, I understand what you're talking about. Um, I just, like I said, I... It's kind of odd that mall management didn't send out some type of email saying that, hey, guys, like, this might happen. Well, we didn't tell them. We did this last year, and we didn't tell them, and they were fine with it. And and you guys did it at our store? No, not at your store, just at other places. But, you know, this, oh, okay. this year it's your turn. Okay. okay. Well, um, you're taking one for the team, basically. I, I understand that. You know that? Um, that yeah, I, I still don't feel comfortable with the children on la ladders. Um, but, like I said, I, I will, you know... You know, like, if, um, you know, over on the right, you have, um, like, it, it looks like a, the frame of a house, like, two-by-four-looking stuff. The, are you talking about the metal? Is that or metal? Or are you talking I, about... I couldn't tell last night, because it was dark in there. Yeah, um, it, it, yeah. It, it's, yes, it's, it's metal. Uh -huh. is, is, that yeah. all, is that all freestanding, or is it bolted to the floor? No, it's freestanding. Everything is freestanding. Oh boy. Okay, so when I'm hopping near the, near that, can you like kind of um, corral the kids away from it in case I knock the entire thing over? Um. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. This is just not making me very comfortable right now. Um. No, it's cool. It's for Easter. The potential of 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 damages and the potential of somebody being hurt, no, I it's, really don't. it's fine. You're Christian, right? I'm not going to discuss my religion with you over the phone. I'm sorry. Okay, well, I mean, I'm just saying, like, if, if you are, then it's fine. It, it's, it's, you know, it's a, it's a religious thing. It's a holiday. I Easter No, I understand that, and that's completely fine. I, I just don't want anybody being hurt. Oh, Do you no, understand nobody that? Nobody will get hurt. Like, kids are resi resi resilient. 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 Okay, except Resil for if they do get hurt, and then the parent tries to sue our company because you said that the kids are resilient. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't want that to happen. No, it'll be fine. N nothing, nothing bad's going to happen. Anyway, like, uh, they're getting rowdy. Yes. And so I'm going to go ahead and bring them over. Okay. We're, we're going to hop. I'm going to be hopping. Okay. I'm going to hop, hop, hop my way over there. <laughs> All righty. The, the parents are going to sue, though. They don't even know. Okay. Like they're, <laughs> Except they're for not, if a child gets hurt and goes to the hospital, they will know. No, they brought them over here on a bus. So, like, it's not like okay. they even care about their kids anyway. They just let them come on a bus. There, there's, like, <sighs> one, one guardian for, like, 35 kids. Plus, uh, okay. plus the other okay. kids that are just here in the mall. Okay. Uh, some of the eggs in there, they might hatch because we did it like a mix of eggs. Are you really messing with me? Like, is this supposed to be a funny joke? No, I wouldn't mess with you. I'm the Easter Bunny. <laughs> um, okay, well, if, if I see you uh, when you come in the store, then I will see you then. But I really yeah. have to go because I'm the only MOD on the floor right now. Okay, I won't be able to talk to you, though. I'll be hopping. Like, you'll have to hop next okay, to me great. to All like, right. stay face level and talk to me. All right, fantastic. All right, see you in great. a minute. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Get ready. Get... It's happening. It's all happening. Any second. Nathan wants me to say they're penguin eggs. <laughs> Oops. Thanks for all the ideas during that call, everyone.
Does the Victoria's Secret sell perfumes and stuff? Oh, look, another Star Trek number. Thank you for calling. This is Leanna. How can I help you? Hey, this is um, the Easter Bunny up here in the food court. Okay. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? I just, I can't, I can't oh. deal with it. Well, sorry. I'm, you know, I'm a cust- I'm a potential customer. I, I just have a question. Okay. Um, do you have any oversized sunglasses that'll fit over my, you know, my head? <laughs> over your Easter Bunny. <laughs> yes. That's what I need. I think it's going to be a hard no. It's what? It's going to be a hard no, I'm sorry. Oh, you don't, like, you don't sell those oversized, those comical glasses? No. Fuck. Is there a Spencer's here in the mall? Maybe they have them. No. Crap. Also, oh, no, hold on. Never mind. I, the, the moment's over. Sorry. Forget it. Um, can you bring me like? So, do you have glasses? Do you have sunglasses for fat people with fat people heads? There's this mom that needs it for a picture. Ma'am. Ma'am. I think she hung up. Under Armour. Would they have clones? Vera Bradley. What's Vera Bradley? Billabong? What's Billabong? Hello? I hear you. Hello? Oh, hey. Um, what happened? Hi. Who is this? Uh, this is Roy. I'm the Easter Bunny upstairs in the food court. So what, you're just going to ignore me after I tell you that? You wouldn't ignore me if I was Santa. I'm sorry, I really can't hear you. Who is this? Why, how can you not hear me? Like, put the phone up to your ear, stupid. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm hanging up on you. Ooh, Ray-Ban. I bet you they have comically oversized glasses that they will sell me. I think we're about to wrap it up. We just, we have to do one more call that's actually funny before we stop. All right, Vera Bradley, eggs in the purses. Thank you for calling Vera Bradley. I'm Mr. Mercedes. How may I help you? Hey, Mercedes. This is uh, Roy. I'm the Easter Bunny up here in the food court. Oh, okay. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. I don't have time for small talk. Um, did they tell you that I hid eggs in your store last night? Did they tell you that they hid eggs in the store last night? For Easter Bunny? They hid eggs in the store last night? Yeah, did they tell you? No, they didn't tell. They oh. didn't let nobody know. I just hid eggs in some of the purses and stuff, and like just under displays and behind... Really? Yeah, yeah, I put eggs in there. Not in all the purses, but just in some of them. I, I even like hit, in the front. Uh, yeah, and in the in the back room also. I came in after hours. The manager let me in. The the mall manager. Oh no! It's the Easter Bunny. No, no one came in here. He said he had eggs in the front and in the back room. The manager, the sto- the mall manager, when? let him in after hours. <laughs> they came in here after hours. Yep. Oh, I don't know. Are we supposed to find him? No. Are we supposed to find no, them? No, don't, don't leave them alone if you find them. They're for the kids. I'm getting ready to come in there with the kids. I'm going to be coming in there. I'm going to be hopping. I'm going to be like okay. hopping const- constantly. Okay. And um, the, the kids are going to be running around your store. It's going to be chaos for just like 10 minutes, and then we'll be out of there, okay? But they're going to be like okay. ripping stuff off the shelves and looking for things. <laughs> okay. And it get, it gets pretty crazy. Like we were just over at Urban Outfitters, and that store is wrecked. So if you have anything valuable or like glassware, do you have any glassware sitting out? Um, glassware. Well, we have a table. It's glass. Oh man. 
Well, I'll try not to hop near it because I tend to knock things over when I, <laughs> when I hop. My, my, okay. my suit gets caught on things. Okay. Uh, we're going to be coming in there and doing an Easter egg hunt from all the eggs. You know where they yeah. are, though, right? Uh, well, some of them are going to get left behind. And also, like, you're going to have to find them all after we leave, all the ones that we don't find. Because mm -hmm. um, it turns out some of them were not cooked, and we didn't know that. So they're going to really start to smell. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. Yep. <laughs> they're in the purses, though, so that should contain the smell. Okay. <laughs> Why are you giggling? Because I don't know if this is for real. What's so funny? Oh, no, it's definitely real. I'm upstairs. I'm the Easter Bunny. Okay. I'm taking well, a break I'll from the photo booth, and I'm going to be hopping down there in just a second. Okay. All right. Eggs in the okay, purses. We'll be here. I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Bye. She doesn't Ooh. believe it. Thank you for calling Detail Morning. Is JT speaking to my sister? Hey, JT. Uh, this is Roy. I'm the guy that's in the Easter Bunny suit upstairs in the food court. Okay. And um, people keep telling me that you're telling kids that the Easter Bunny isn't real. Can you stop that? I don't have time for the nonsense, man. No, Thank you. I don't have time it. for you telling kids that the Easter Bunny isn't real. Wow. All right, next. All right, Blooming Beauty. I will try that for perfume. Um, let me just find it. There it is. Maybe just their smelliest shampoo. Blooming Beauty, this is Jennifer. How may I help you? Hey, Jennifer. This is Roy. I'm the Easter Bunny person upstairs in the food court. Mm -hmm. Do you sell perfume, perfume there? No, we don't. Okay. Uh, what about smelly shampoos? Shampoo? Yeah, like really, really strong smelling shampoos, though. Um, I think that's like a personal thing. Might be strong to you. But we do sell shampoo with a bunch of different smells. Do you have a concentrated formula? Um, from what brand? Any brand? Oh, it doesn't matter. I just need you to bring me a bottle because, uh, like, I, I went out and smoked um, a bunch of weed on my break, and I smell really strong like weed, and I just, like, I need, I, I think I'm going to, like, shampoo the, the fur and the costume. Um, okay. I smell so much, like, marijuana, though, and the kids are complaining saying I smell like uh, daddy give, give me one second okay holy shit am I doing a three hour show why am I doing this I'm not going to have time to edit and get this posted Damn it. Damn it, damn it. <laughs> yeah, she's coming over to hang up. Hello? Hello. Yeah, so, I mean, we have a bunch of options for, for shampoo. Uh, Will it come, cover up the smell of vomit? Huh? I'm sorry? Will it, it's hard to hear since you put me on speaker. I said, will it cover up the smell of vomit? Vomit. Yeah, all I hear is the the music in your store now. Hello, I'm sorry. It's okay. That's better. Okay. That so, what 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 are you having problem with? Uh, well, I smell like marijuana, like really strongly, like marijuana, and the kids are complaining. I think the kids are actually getting high off of me. Okay, so I would much recommend it to you to go to Macy's or Bloomingdale's for you to spray some perfume. I'm not going nowhere, and don't tell me what to do. Like, I need you to bring me a bottle of shampoo. Yeah, but I cannot, I legit cannot get out of my job to deliver you something because you're not paying me for, for me to do that. Well, there's, you're, there's two of you there, and you're just playing around on the speakerphone. I know you don't have, you know, you don't have a lot of customers. Just bring me some damn... I'm sorry? Bring me some concentrated shampoo, lady. Hurry the fuck up. I cannot, I cannot get out of my job for me to do that. Just say you need to use the bathroom. They can't deny you that. It's human rights. 
Just take, um, take a bottle of champagne. Do I'll you want to you... call? Do you want to call the security to ask them to do that for you? No. Because I'm not gonna get out of my job for me to like deliver you some shampoo because you smell like mar marijuana. Like there's no way I can do that. Y yes, there is. You're just choosing not to. You're being an asshole. Look, I'll I'll tip you. I'll give you like ten bucks extra. I'll pay you for the shampoo and give you ten bucks. And you're also watching. Oh, okay, okay. Um, all right. I hope you have a great day. That's the only thing I'm gonna tell you. Okay. What did you say? Watching. Who's, I hope you have a great day. Who's watching? You're making me really paranoid, and and that's bad because I've just smoked weed. Sir, if you can get out of there for you to buy some shampoo and come here, that's okay. But I cannot get out of the store for me to give you some shampoo. Yes, I can't. Like, like you don't have a bathroom in there, right? Just say you got to use the bathroom. No, there's no way I can get out of just, my job for me to deliver you some shampoo. Just sir. run up. I'm sorry. Run, run. Just run really fast. They probably won't even miss you if you just run out of the store real quick. I can't and do I, that. If, if they see that in the camera, I can get in trouble and I can lose my and, job. And, I'm sorry. And bring some water, too. I'm going to need you to put water on my fur. Do you need like, any other help? Do you need anything I can help you with? Well, you're, you're not even helping me. Like, I, I need you to shampoo my fur. Because that's not my job. I'm sorry. Do you need any anything else? That's your job today, lady. Get up here. Like, have you had a break yet? Yeah, I did. Have Whoa. Okay, that's getting really fucking nervous. I'm just gonna call the security. Um, what's what's the phone number? No, don't call. Over there? Don't call security because I, I I'm really high right now and I smell like marijuana. And if he comes over here and I smell like this, I'm gonna get in trouble. And you're expecting me to go there for me to like get you out of trouble and then take shampoo for you. I told you I'd give you ten bucks. But ten bucks is not even my hour, sir. I'm sorry, I cannot I'll give get you, out of my. I'll job. give you twenty. I'll give you weed. I have weed. I'll give you weed. Do you want? Do you some? need any help with anything else? I cannot do that. That's do, not my job. Look, do you want some weed? How much? Uh, weed? No, I don't smoke weed. Um, how much? Can you do that. Okay. Look, look. How much weed do you want? I have just an unlimited supply of weed. What's your name? I'm sorry. This is Roy, aka Roy. The, the Easter, the Easter Bunny. Just, What's your last name? Just hop on up here, okay? My last name's Jerbel. I'm I'm not gonna be able to. If there is anything else I can help you with, you're not helping. Let me know. You're not helping. You're not helping at all. Okay. Um. I take, hope you have a great day. Take the back hallway. <laughs> So they won't see you. Girl doesn't know how to sneak around. <laughs> that was fun. I thought they like w they were saying they're watching, like they were thinking about it or something. But they're like, oh, we can't because they're watching on the cameras. I think. Yeah. What would I say to the mall office? <laughs> yeah, I I will call the mall office and maybe the um the the desk lady, main desk lady. All right, just a few more calls and then I'm gonna do some final bosses. I can't go over three hours, that's crazy. I need to hurry the fuck up. Thank you for calling in. Tell me, how can I help you? Hey, uh, this is Roy. I'm the guy in the Easter Bunny costume up here in the food court. Okay. And um, I keep having mothers tell me that you guys are saying that the Easter Bunny isn't real. Um, <laughs> nope, nobody has said anything like that well, here. Well, you're laughing about it, so you're making it pretty obvious that you are. So can you just cut that out? Because it's not cool. Like, we didn't, I'm sorry, but we have not told anybody that comment. People come here to shop, we offer items, and no one has made that comment Yeah, and then, and then you offer this your, your personal opinion. This is Mall. You offer your personal opinion on the existence of no, the Easter Bunny. No, I find it funny that you call this store to say that, but sorry, I'm busy. With well, the because clients. I'm not Bye -bye. afraid to confront you if you're going to say I don't exist. Probably goes around saying Jesus doesn't exist either. I need to call a kid's place. Here we go. Amber, Crom Amber Crombie Kids and Pottery Barn Kids. Hi, Brian Kids. This is Cynthia. How can I help you? Hey, Cynthia. This is Roy. I'm the, the guy in the Easter Bunny suit upstairs. Oh, okay. Hi. How are you? Hey, pretty good. Um, I was wondering, can you please stop telling the kids that the Easter Bunny doesn't exist? Because they come up here and they tell me that you're saying that, and it's not cool. Cause, Who's you know, saying that? Uh, you are. You, you and the other employees. Can you please just cut it out? Yeah. You, this must be like a prank call, because we would never say such a thing. Why are you prank calling kids that are coming in there? Like, it's like you know, that's for their parents to decide if they want to tell them the Easter Bunny doesn't exist. 
No problem. I will let the, the employees, if I find out that they are doing that, I will definitely let them know. No can, worries. Can you reprimand them on, like, while I'm listening? Um, I'm the only one here at the cash wrap right now. <laughs> oh, so it's you? You're the one doing it? Yep. Why, why are you doing I, that? If, if they're saying it is, then it is. <laughs> well, why are you doing that, though? Like, it's, it's not nice. It's not nice. I thought people would be more confrontational with this stuff. Um, how about regular potty, Pottery Barn? Yeah, I know. Final bosses. The show's gone on way too long. You want me to quit? I get it. Thanks for calling Pottery Barn, where we offer complimentary in-home design services. This is Liz. How can I help you? Hey, Liz. Uh, this is Roy. I'm the guy in the Easter Bunny suit upstairs doing the, okay. the photos. Um, I was wondering, can you please stop telling the kids that I don't exist? I didn't. None of us have said that. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, no, about. They, they said your name. They said Liz, and they, the, but they said other people are, too. Like, can you just ask everyone there to please stop telling kids that, that I don't exist? Because they're, com okay. they're coming up, and they're giving me crap over it. Okay. Like, why are you doing that? Like, like moms are coming um, up with their kids, and they're being like, see, he really does exist. He's really here. Liz was wrong. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about, to be perfectly honest with you. Well, you're, you're saying that I don't exist. Like, you're, you're, saying, you're telling little kids that the Easter Bunny doesn't exist. He's not real. <sighs> All right, one more. One more, then final bosses. Thanks for calling Anthropology. This is Maggie. How can I help you? Hey, Maggie. This is Roy. I'm the Easter Bunny guy up in the food court. Oh, hi. Hey. Um, can you please stop telling kids that the Easter Bunny doesn't exist? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. I don't think I told anyone that. Oh, no, you've been telling a lot of people that, or other employees there have, too. Because the mothers keep coming up and, and, and being like, see, Maggie was wrong. He really does exist. He really is here. <laughs> and you're, you're making, like, little kids cry. Can you cut it out? Yeah, I can cut it out. <laughs> I would appreciate it. It's not cool. Yeah, I understand. You're not going to get into heaven with that attitude. I know, I know. You know, i got to get back to work, so good luck with those children. Can I talk to another... Uh, what's that implying? What? <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, good zinger there. Okay. Yeah, okay, goodbye. Have a good day. You too. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, final boss number one. Thank you for calling. This is Lewis. How may I assist you? Hey, Lewis. Uh, this is Steve Dave. Uh, I'm one of the, the people here in the, in the mall, one of the employees. I work over at the Pottery Barn. Okay. And the, the Easter Bunny called me like a few minutes ago and said I was telling kids that, that he doesn't exist. And he's getting okay. very uh, snippety with me and stuff. So I'm calling to tattle on him. Or do I need to call um, mall security or something? You sound like... Um, I, can transfer you to, I can transfer you to mall security. Okay. Well, have other people said that this, ha this is happening? Cause... No. You're the first. Oh, that's good. I'm, I'm glad it's just... I feel like singled out now, though. Would you like for me to transfer you to mall security? Yes, please. He probably just started his shift, though. Thank you for calling the security department. This is speaking. How can I help you? Hey there. Uh, I'm calling from the Pottery Barn, and um, the Easter Bunny says he's going to be coming over and, like, uh, messing up our store. Like, he says he hit eggs here last night. Okay, so he... Okay, give me one second. All right. Stand, just stand on. Why? What was your name again? Roy. Steve. Roy. Roy Steven. No, no, your name. Oh, his name is Roy. My name is Steven. Oh, okay. Okay, give me a second. This phone call came in not too long ago, correct? What time? Uh, I don't, just a few minutes ago, actually. Okay. So, so are, are they going to do that then? There, is the Easter Bunny coming to our store? Because we can't find any eggs here. He said he hid yeah, it in, no, in pots so, and stuff. So we've been having a lot of calls uh, coming in through uh, uh, in the mall there's it, it's not related to the Easter money it's not related to what's going on in the mall it's just prank calls 
Oh, prank calls. I get it. Yeah. That's no, crazy. I, I was getting kind of worried. Like, I thought the Easter Bunny was going to come in here and knock stuff over. Yeah, no. Nothing like that. I don't get how it's a prank call, though. It's not even funny. The, the thing is, this has to identify himself as Roy. Right. That's the Eastern Bunny. That's the Eastern Bunny. All right, well, if you get uh, any more calls, just give us a call back. Um, but, yeah, we're trying to track this person down. Okay. Um, we've received multiple calls from different stores. So. It's probably Jerry over at the California Pizza Kitchen. He's always giving me crap when uh, I walk by. Jerry? Yeah. You know Jerry. Mm, nope, don't know a Jerry. From California Pizza Kitchen? Yeah, he's one of the cooks. Oh, no. Uh, he used to sell me weed. Uh, well, we might we might head over there and uh, yeah. talk to the people around. Shake yeah. down Jerry. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thanks for your call. Uh huh. Thank you. Have a good day, Steve. Dave, away. I don't know how to echo. Here we go. That was our prank calling. Just now to us? Yeah. They can't pick out your price. They got my last name number? 422 number? No. Yeah, the same number. 426. Is he there? Or is he just uh, I'm not there with right hand. No. He's, He's using an app or a program. Yeah, he has to. You want me to hang up? Yeah, I would. All right. Um, we need to call the guy at four twenty six nine six nine now. Um, some of you may not know that I called him at the beginning of the show three whole hours ago, and uh, he was super super nice. He was hanging out in bed, eating uh, was it chicken nuggets and watching Family Guy and getting crumbs all over his bed like a big old slob but he's really nice he's a really nice slob yeah chicken nuggets that's what Nathan Baker's saying hello chicken nugget guy what's up bro hey did anyone call you no oh really no come on you can tell me no nobody called me bro well, that sucks. I tried really hard. I tried to make it a fun day for you. Ah, true. I'm very disappointed. Sorry about that, bro. It's okay. I can keep trying. I can do like, an no, hour, I'm like good. another three hours. No, I'm good. I was calling people and telling them I was the Easter Bunny at the mall. Mm. It was fun. How'd that work out for you? Um, pretty good, but, um, not too good because they didn't call you. Are you sure? Are you just making this up yeah. that nobody called? No, I can show you my, my, my phone. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see right now. Hold it up. Really? Yeah, hold it up. No, I can take a screenshot and send it to you. Okay, yeah, send it to me. Just send it to this number that I'm calling from. Then I'll know for sure. You could have deleted the numbers, though. What, well, do, you, what, what do, you, do you want me to do? Give him a statement? No, no, it's okay. I'm just, I'm just uh, disappointed that nobody called you. Um, what are you watching now? Nothing. I am ordering shit online. Oh, uh, what are you ordering? DJ equipment. Oh, cool. Um, are you watching anything on TV? Is Family Guy over? Oh, yeah, it's been over. Ah. What'd you watch after Family Guy? Uh, nothing. I was doing research on new equipment. What kind of equipment? Like, what are you getting? I'm getting new turntables, new Ooh. headphones. You should get a VT3. A DJ cake. Get a VT3. Those are fun. What the fuck is a VT3? It's, uh, it's, uh, it's by Roland. And it's uh, it changes your voice and lets you do like crazy things with your voice. And it's a lot of fun. That's what you should get. 
Um, can you still taste? Oh, sure. Can you still taste the chicken nuggets in your mouth? Nah. Oh, that sucks. They make a, a VT12. What? That's that's like f four times the number of three. Yeah, bro. I'm gonna get a VT12. I'm gonna hang up with you. I'm gonna order a VT12 real quick. They have a VT4. Yeah, there's a VT4. I didn't know about the VT12. I'm gonna get the VT12. I don't even know what the fuck these things are for. Midi cable balance at They make your oh, voice. They make your voice go all wacky. Uh, Whenever you talk, it goes crazy. I hate it. Makes it hard to understand me. True. Anyway, I gotta go. I gotta go order a VT12. Alright, I'm just hanging up. He doesn't seem interested in talking to me. How did he not get any calls, though? You'd think at least security would have called him up and said, Hey, what the hell are you doing? Easter Bunny. <laughs> We're on to you, Easter Bunny. <sighs> There's no such thing as a VT-12, is there? Now I want to look it up. Mr. Biggs, quick, research VT-12s for me. Snap to it. Hop to it. VT-12. Oh, look at that. There is a Roland VT-12. It's a vocal trainer. It lets you alter your pitch of your voice. It's like handheld. It looks like a... Um, it looks like the a tricorder, tricorder or something. It's got a metronome on it. Wow. The VT-12 is real. I, I think this is the end of the show, though. Thanks for all of the ideas that everybody gave me for all of the stores. That was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Thanks, everyone, for listening. Uh, we, we, that was nearly three hours of that. So if the show is much shorter in the podcast version than three hours, then just think of all the crap that you didn't have to listen to by not hearing the live show. You're much better off than the people in the chat room right now. Hey, Brad, just calling on in from Tempe, Arizona. Hello. I just fucking, like, broke into a church kind of by accident. I need to find my way out before anyone catches me. Anyway. Um, I hate when that happens. Gosh, so what do I want to say? Right. Um, I really liked the, uh, the like, weird clip you played for the, uh, the really, really long breath cactus shack. I really it was missing those. those. Those are really good. The clip? Uh, shows. Let me just get behind this column for a second. It's more than the clip. Uh, yeah, I really like the Brad's Cactus Shack. Um, oh, thanks. I, I saw some of my most favorite episodes ever are like, you know, Brad's Cactus Shack, but the one where you describe your, like, your 7-Eleven escapade and, like, you know, where you talk about skunk works and it's all bunch of stuff I was, I, yeah. you know, I never realized. Good times. You know, didn't really notice or I wasn't there for because I wasn't like a fan yet. It was really, really funny, but... No, I actually liked it. You know, don't worry about it. It was actually a pretty interesting show. Well, thank you. Listening to you, it takes super, super high-pitched voice. Anyway, yeah. like, it was cool. Anyway, back to cactus. Listening to me and my friend run from the cops while I'm in grade school. It's really compelling listening. Hey, Brad. This is incredulous. Um, hey. I was just calling because a long time ago, I left you a message saying that I really liked the calls that you did. Um, when you were calling apartment complexes, and then you were saying you found a portal to another dimension when you knocked a hole in the wall. Yeah, and that the I like those other too. dimension um, was like a mirror universe of their apartment, except the furniture was in a different place. And I told you that I thought that was really funny, and I said you have to do that again, and you said you would definitely do it again, and you never did it again. I know. So, um, can you please do those calls again? Thank I'm you. Full of crap. Bye. Yeah, I didn't mean to do those calls again. Wasn't that whole mirror thing Simplex's idea? I might be wrong about that, but yeah, that was good stuff. I really enjoyed those. I've got a note page in my notebook here that says prank ideas, concepts, segments, and the most recent thing in there says I need to do more eminent domain calls, but I am adding that to the top of the list right now. Tenants from Hell, Mirror Universes. That needs to happen soon. Somebody even sent me a brand new Tenants from Hell intro song, which I haven't been able to use yet because I haven't done any Tenants from Hell in so long. So I'll get two things out of the way. 
I'll get to play this new intro song, and we get to do Mirror Universes again. Love you guys. What's up, homies? Uh, you too. Nothing much. Just doing voicemails here. Hi, Roy. Uh, this this is uh, Natalia Sarai. How are you doing today? I am doing great. Uh, I had two quick questions. Okay. Um, the first, so I read your book a few years ago, and please forgive me for not remembering all of the details. They're all lies. But in your book, was everything that you wrote, like, true? No. Um, there was... I know at the beginning, I know you were talking about how your friend got squished in a dump truck or something like that, and then at the, uh, spoiler, whoa, well, Wow, you spoiler. just give away the whole book, way spoiler. to go. And then at the end, Nobody buy it now. the guy came back and, like, he didn't die, and he was, like, following you while you moved all around the country. I know, what a psycho. What, was that a true story, or am I missing something? What do you think? Or was that just a gag? If you can explain that, and I'm so sorry for spoilers, but I did say spoilers. No, so it's okay. It's really his fault if you didn't know. Uh, it's old. It, but, it's from um, 2011. Yeah, can you explain that to me, please? Also, has anyone ever used you, um, like, in... Um, oh, what? Okay, so that voicemail ends, and then she leaves another one for another 40 seconds. Natalia, I already gave you a minute and 14 seconds, because you know what's going to happen? Crimson's going to get on here, and he's going to be like, Eh, Brad, you treat girls differently in the voicemails. I'm going to talk about it in every single voicemail that I send you. Anyway, did you not get to the end of the book? Because there's this thing on the end of the book... I can't remember exactly what it says, but it mentions if you want to know which of the things in the book are true and which are not true, then you should go to phonelosers.com slash companion. Or wait, no, slash book slash companion. Here, let me make sure that's right. Yes, phonelosers.com slash book slash companion. Wow, this page looks like garbage. I really need to work on this. But this page is a chapter-by-chapter -chapter rundown of everything in the book. And it'll tell you exactly what is real and what is fake. It's pretty much half and half. And if any of you don't know what we're talking about, you need to go to Amazon.com and search for Phone Losers of America and buy the book. And I guess since you gave me an opportunity to plug the book, I will play your other voicemail. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is Natalia Sarai again. My uh, phone cut off. So I was going to okay. say, um, has anyone ever used you like to post the phone number thinking that it was for like a payphone or something, but it was really for, like, a person that they didn't like, so they can kind of use you and your followers as, like, a personal army for them. Oh, I see Has what you're saying. Has that ever happened? Because I hear you talking about um, being careful and making sure that the payphone numbers are really payphone numbers. Yeah, but I haven't been doing that lately. I kind of suck for not being careful with that because eventually someone's going to give out the, the White House situation room number and say, oh, this is such a fun payphone I'm calling from. Oh, has anyone ever done that before? Probably. Can you answer my question. Thank you. I love you. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks for the voicemail. Yeah, I don't know of that ever happening where someone gave out a phone number and it was the phone number of just somebody they were trying to harass. People do that all the time on the YouTube videos and I always delete those. So they don't shut down my channel. But yeah, it's a possibility. I should definitely be more careful about it. Hopefully that didn't happen to you and that's why you're calling in. Please, everybody, don't do that. Holy fucking shit, Brad. It's goddamn Pepe and you fucking wasted... Hey, Pepe. About three minutes of my fucking ten minutes that I paid for. Oh, no. Welcome to payphone. We have to find my house with your message and your fucking... Is it really a payphone? Or are you just spoofing the phone number of somebody you don't like? So I'll give out their phone number and you can have me harass them. Long time to connect. I've heard about people like you. <laughs> ah, shit. I've been like 30 seconds on the phone. Listen, this fucking paper is so worse. It has a sticker on it. It says, yes, this paper will work. Listen, your goddamn picture. You won't fucking believe it. Wow. It's covering graffiti. It's like shit. Yeah. yeah What'd well, you say? You sound like I shit. Love you, Brad. Oh, have a good thanks. Day. Thanks, Pepe. Call me the paper number, okay, please? I'll All right. Maybe. You didn't tell me where it's located at. It's somewhere in Pennsylvania. Uh, and it just picks up with a computer tone. So that's not a good payphone to call. Hey, Brad. It's Crimson. Hey. So recently, Ruprecht the Monkey Boy left a voicemail on this last episode that I was listening to saying, Hey, why are you going to the East Coast? You know? Uh, hey, I'm in North Carolina. Da, 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 da. Guess what? I'm also in North Carolina. You don't say. I'm not going to out anybody else. 
but there's a few other uh, listeners that I personally know, that I've personally talked to, that are also in North Carolina. Yep. And uh, I'd definitely be meeting up, be up for meeting up. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I can definitely make that for I Raleigh. think you should organize one, Crimson. You and Ruprecht and all the other North Carolina people. There are a lot of PLA people in North Carolina, I've noticed. More than in most states, it seems. Or, you know, Charlotte. More or active ones, anyway. The big cities. So, uh, Ruprex, reach out to Brad. He knows how to get in contact with me. And Brad, you should make it out sometime. Like, like a brick and wood bed. I would like to. Do a little meetup here in North Carolina. I think. The center of your fan base, believe it or not. Uh, yeah, see you, Brad. Well, I don't know about that, but. If I am still alive in three years. And you people are still supporting me on Patreon enough to where I can make a living doing prank calls. I am going to drive my car around the country. This is a promise. If I'm alive and if I'm not bedridden by then, because right now I have to get permission to leave the state of Oregon. And it's going to be like that until the end of 2022. But after that, U.S. tour, which will include North Carolina. I really wish I could just do that right now, but I just can't. I'm really itching to take more road trips, though. In the meantime, you guys should just organize your own, like Freak Show's doing. He's trying to get people to show up in northern Indiana soon at an antique phone show. That'd be a fun place to meet up. Hey, really bad podcast. Hey. It's me, Rico Rocks. What's poppin', man? Yeah. I just wanted to call and say I like the Snowplow Show. Thanks. But I just don't like you. Aw. Unfortunately, I just really don't like you. Oh, uh, that's okay. That's your right. Yep. It's your prerogative to not like me. I don't care one way or the other. I'm trying to sound like a Roy Sipient when I tell them I don't like them. Uh, there are a bunch of other voicemails in here, but you know what? It is now 1045 at night, and I stupidly did a three-hour show earlier, which meant I then had to do three hours of editing, and one show has turned into pretty much an all-day thing for me. So I'm going to quit doing voicemails. I'm going to hurry up and try and get this edited. I kind of think I'm not going to succeed, but I would like to get this out tonight. So more voicemails later this week. I hope everyone enjoyed the show today. Thank you, Arbitrary Alex and High School Graduate and I Regret Jumping and Micro Corgi and Teen Wolf Jesus for being supporters of the show. You can be a supporter too by going to patreon.com slash phone losers or phone losers.com slash cactus. Either one gets you more or less the same thing and helps to eventually fund my world tour to North Carolina in 2023. I can't wait for that. Follow PLA and all the things. We've got a Twitter at twitter.com slash phone losers, facebook.com slash phone losers. There's a Facebook phone losers group. There's a Discord. Everyone should be in the Discord. It's been kind of quiet around there lately. We need to get some new people in there that we can kick out and join up on the Reddit. Just join up on all the things. If you go to the show notes at snowplowshow.com, there are a ton of links at the bottom of every single show that are all related to the show and the community and friends of the PLA. Red is the color of a box that's snow. We're giving three balls from a boat. It's the perfect box for beginning freaks. Make them pronto dinos or MP3s. Just as long as they are the frequency that will rule your telephone company.
Over there!